Hello, I'm Farid. Welcome to Online Fitness Training. Deadlift or squat position. So the plan is to punch each hand 25 times in total you will have it 50. Don't drop your head. Keep your back as long, nice and strong. Knees slightly bend it. Both hands are traveling in the same speed. Your lats, your chest, your shoulders, triceps, biceps. Even your holding position on this will activate your core. And by the second round or third round, you feel like your heart beats faster and faster and faster. Count your number. Make sure you do 50 together. Now, just twist and give me shoulder press. Go back to the center and come back to the same side. Do 10. We, we do plan this to add a bit movement on the spine to make sure those sides obliques are working. And always remember coordination, conditioning, strength, power, adding together makes your session. 10 on the right side and 10 on the left side. Do the same thing, turn and press. Make sure you keep your back straight, make sure your chest proud, make sure both hands are going at the same level high. You might have some issue to pressing something over your head. You might be a bit forward. Then you need a flexibility, mobility, and always remember warm up before coming to our class. We got a couple of good warm up, five, three, five or six minutes. So you can do that one. Go okay, step forward, step forward, stay on the squat position and Bring the water bottle over your shoulders and go back down. Now we do 10, we do five on each side alternative or you can, you can do right side and then you can do left. But make sure the position, holding that position is a challenge. Holding that position is a workout. Holding that position is, needs a lot of understanding to hold yourself there. And it's a nice position. Your, your hips stays a bit higher than your knees, and your knees stays on top of your toes, your back is straight. As soft as possible, you're going down on the floor and coming up. When you do 10, then put your water bottle on the side, wait. So the next one is going down on the squat, reach your hands on the floor. The beginner version, you step back, step back or jump both feet together. So touch your hands on the floor. Now, thank you very much. Step forward, step forward, and stand up. So you're going deep squat and to frog jump the back. Very good. Very soft, very powerful. One of the best workouts for your core, your upper body and your lower body works at the same time. Nice one. Keep to 10. Very good. If you can't jump both, Aryan will show you how to go single leg, single leg. Very good. Even this movement will be a challenge for you guys not to move your back too much. Yeah. This weather, cold weather, it's the best workout. This one. Again, jumping at the back, guys, make sure don't drop your knees too much, don't drop your hips too much, and don't drop your head. Everything stays straight. Stay on a high plank, and just drag the water bottle under your chest. Very good. The water bottle, kettlebell, any weight you have around, you can do this workout. Best workout for your core, for coordination. Add the number, make it more challenges or keep 10, five on each side. Holding on a high plank or a low plank is a good workout, guys. People, they do 10 seconds, then 20 seconds, then 30 seconds on a low plank, up to five minutes, six minutes, eight minutes. 
then we feel much safer, much stronger on their lower back. So the teaching point on this position is you have to brace your core in in order to hold yourself in that position. Second round, guys. So it was punching 50 times, twist and shoulder press, kneeling into standing position, and swing the weights over your shoulders, and you go squat into frog jump, then we did drag the weights under your chest in a high plank. When we say 20 minutes, you can go for 30 minutes, make it one and a half play, or you wanna make more challenges for you guys, you can play the video twice. If you can't do one of the movement on this video, you can mix and match with the other video we had already loaded and saved for you guys. The best thing for your motivation, if you ask your friends or your family member, or your colleague to join you, it might work for most of people to have another person around to do. Now you twist and shoulder press. First do your right side, then you do left side. If you don't have weights, guys, you do with the resistant band, stand on the resistant band side and press. I'm sure we have, we have a couple of videos on the resistant bands, how to use it. If you need any question on any help, or if you have any question and you need any help, you can text us, we can run a class, maybe one by one to one or maybe a group. We can tell you how to use your equipment around you. Resistant bands, kettlebells, barbells, whatever you have and you don't know how to use it, we can do a video for you guys. We can do a class for you guys. You, you tell us 20 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, we will plan the workout for you guys. Also group exercises, you can join. Family exercises, family classes, you can join. Kids, they, they can join you. Elders, they can join you. We do a very easy classes. We give every, every individual a challenge. Free weight, body weight, easy weight, heavy weight, how to lift, and we have forms, how to do your deadlifts. I'm sure we have squat. We had a lot of push-ups variation. Nowadays we started to do some handstand, hand balancing. You go stand, stand on a squat position. And beautiful, go down. If you guys can't do this, stay there. Just drive your bum back. When you come up, just take the bottles. That's the very, Easy version if you want to do. If you're a basic and just started the workout, you can do this movement and instead of a step forward and stand up. If you want to make it a bit harder, just down, that's it. If you can't hold yourself on that squat position, stand up, step forward, step forward, stand up. Then you swing your weights over your head or you over your shoulders. So there are options for everyone. There's no excuses, guys. I can't do this. I have pain on my knees, on my lower back, on my shoulders. We have everything. We tell you where you start it, and you soon you will you'll be in an advanced position or advanced challenge for every movement. All the videos, guys, for everyone. Very easy, very simple for basic people. A bit challenges for intermediate and a very challenges you can you can do in advanced position so now stand up squat into frog jump or squat and just step back step back very good so people they start talking like oh Aryan got a lot strong I said yes because he's a serious person he's not coming he's not coming just to do weekly with us he does five six or seven times per week why not to be stronger guys? Why not to be faster? Why not to be fitter? This is the time. You can't say it's too late. Any day, any moment, any time you decide to do it, just go in and smash it. Now you do 10 under your chest drag. If possible, lock your knees. Your heels stays on the top of your toes. You will see people, they moving too much on the sideways. We don't want that. If you can't do 10, 
do four, do six, do eight, but don't move too much. Aaron, can you show if, the, if you move a lot how it looks like? It's a loading and unloading, I call it. You load one hand and unload the other hand, which is not working. The holding position for this workout is as straight as possible. Think something is on the back of your shoulders and you don't want to move it to drop it. And the dragging weight, you can drag it on the floor or you can lift it. Things to remember, you always drag the things under your chest as a cross position. Not from here to there, but from cross position back to there. Punching, twisting and shoulder press. Kneeling into standing position with the swing. Punching. You can punch outside your, your legs, you can punch inside your legs. Make sure you add more twist on your spine, more twist on your, on your lats. You think you're punching something on the floor. And make sure the, the, ha the hands are going up to the ceiling as close as possible to your lats. We, do, we don't do this. We do it like an arrow. Um, bend over like an arrow, press up like an arrow, and you press your bar over your head like an arrow, not like a T. If you ask to do this T, then you do. Twist on the right side and Press 10, count your number guys, make sure a nice twist first and press, come back. Uh, movement we create guys is for your daily basis, for your daily life. You shop in, you come into the kitchen, you try to put weights on the top of the shelf then you realize that there's no space. Then you have the ability to turn your face and put the weights or the shopping somewhere else. Uh, we do train a very young people like 8, 10 years old. I have clients to 90, 92 years old. So you can't say it's too late. Anytime you decide, you come, you join us, we make you stronger, make you able to move, make you able to do your daily job coming off out of your bed going to the shower making your breakfast everything you think is important you need to move don't ask for the help unless you proper proper you need it other than that you move yourself and you do your job come up and swing yes if you want to make it the more challenges you stand up and press swing and press that's the one so we don't want to press because we did a lot of shoulder press while you stand up just swing the water bottle or the books we put the books there guys for you guys to understand that if you don't have a water bottle if you don't have weights if you don't have resistant bands or kettlebells you just take a couple of books Anything you have around, you can use it as a gym. Anything you, you have around, you can use it as equipment. No excuses for, oh, I don't have any gym around me. It's too late to go to gym. I'm too tired. I'm working long hours. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day, job done. So it's squatting into frog jump. Make sure guys, the first move shouldn't disturb the second one and the second move shouldn't disturb the first one. Down, very good. And if you see the body language of Aryan, it's exactly the same thing from number one to number 10. If you, if you fast forward the video, you will see exactly the same movement. He's showing you, Aryan is showing you, even if you get tired, please don't break the forms. The form stays as it is on the first reps and it goes to the end. Super tired shouldn't disturb the building. Super tired shouldn't disturb your form guys. Challenge yourself. Think about the first step and think about to have the last step exactly like the first one. Drag the weights in the cross position. Keep your back straight. If you can't hold it, if you're really, really big in this, stay on your knees, Arian. If you're really, really big in this, stay on your knees, please, and do it. 
but don't stay on your knees forever. Maybe a couple of sessions and you have to try to push yourself to go higher. Staying on your knees for a long time doesn't work. Staying on your knees doing this job or doing press ups, it doesn't work. Make sure you challenge yourself on every single day you do a workout, you challenge yourself. If you can't do both legs or both knees off the floor, please lift one. Make sure even every single day you have a challenge, it's a fun. It's not boring. If, you, if you're doing the same job, same number, same workout with the same weights, with the same speed, to be honest, it doesn't work. So you have to add something. Last one, press it, count it. 50 punch in with the weights or water bottle, even with the resistant bands, a good workout, guys. Endurance, conditioning, and your cardio. Any workout goes more than 12 or 15, it adds on your cardio. And we need our cardio level to be high every single day to stay as an active person. Twist on the right and press the ceiling. Um, you can do both sides, but the best one is to, to do one side first and the other because it works exactly on the same side. It's a good challenge for the system to, to disturb one side, then go to the other side and press in straight, chest proud, back straight. Your toes stay, stay where they are. You're twisting your upper body and try to have your lower body as straight as possible. Twist on the other side and press. Looks so cool. The back is straight. The hands are coming under, the, under both weights. The chest proud. Shoulders are not elevated too much. And the hand position and the head position between both hands exactly equal on both sides. Sometimes when you press, shoulder press, you just think about it if, if my head is on one side. So make sure you come to the center. Good one. Knee in, step forward, step forward, and swing the water bottle on top of your shoulders. Again, guys, holding this position is a challenge. And I'm sure you will feel it all your body you, because you're holding yourself is a, not a natural position. Standing up is easy, everybody can stand up. And holding in this position, going down, coming up is a workout. And I'm sure we don't do this when we go to office. So we do something like extra movement for our daily life to make Make sure all the muscles working every day. Good one. So squatting, reaching the floor, frog jump, or a step back, step back. I had a question last week, somebody said, okay, if I can do 10 frog jump at the back, what will be the challenge? I said, man, the challenge, it will never stop. There's level over level over level. Then he said, tell me a challenge. I said, do one hand. And he said, how is it possible? I said, yes, so when you have a question, then we, we, we know the answer. You do one hand on the floor and frog jump back. He said, okay, yeah, this is the one. He said, after this, I said, do one leg, one leg, one hand. And he said, okay, I, I, I don't want to ask again. Thank you, quick couple of seconds. Guys, remember, do the session with us. Do the session when you see the video is saved. Subscribe, bring your friends, make it a fun, a group exercise, a group challenges. We have program for everyone, weeks and weeks and weeks. We get you from the very beginners to very advanced and make sure you do it, make sure you do it in a proper way. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed this session. See you soon and see you next week.